Okay, folks, snapping turtle gumbo with some shrimp mixed in there. That's what we're working on today. We got all the stuff and ingredients right here to get started. We're gonna saute it. All this is over an open fire. I like the turtle. Turtle's my favorite. It is now my favorite too. Yep, she likes it too. She tried it over the summer and loved it. So we went out seven more and uh, started putting them in the freezer. Now we're stocked up for the winter. Stocked up. Let's get to cooking. Let's get it. It's finally the day. She went up, she was up in Canada. She killed a bear. Got her freezer semi full. Well, it's just gonna cook the snapping butter right now. Hey, let's do it. We're going to put the onion, garlic, and jalapeno in first. Look at the meat. Oh, this is loaded. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, I know, right? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> you can't yeah. think of anything to relate it to. It's like turtle. But it is it's delicious. Different. It's definitely different. Gonna add some beer in there, just a little bit. so good just like it is. It does. We're gonna get this good and hot. We just added the broth in there. We're gonna get it good and hot and then we'll add the root to it. Add this root in here. Let this cook down. We're gonna add the shrimp right there at the end because it don't take but a minute for shrimp. Let me go ahead and tell you folks, it's smelling really, really good. Look at that. We turned that into gumbo in just a second, didn't we? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. It smells just like gumbo. The Canadian girl cooking gumbo. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm a redneck licking the wooden spoon. Mm. <laughs> Good, Should we add some maple syrup in there? Oh. <laughs> I have to say, this is the one thing that maple syrup probably is not going to go with. <laughs> okay, we're just going to add a jar of homemade tomato sauce. Just a little. And we're adding another teaspoon of gumbo file. Gumbo fowl, it's nothing but sassafras leaves. That's all that is. Which grows all around here. Yeah, we got plenty of it around here. And and that's also root beer. They make the root, they, they take the roots of the sassafras and that's what they make the flavoring for root beer. So. I'm all about foraging. So. so there we go. We don't have to buy this anymore. The last thing to go in, the, the, uh, the rice is cooked. So now we just add these in. And it won't take but a second on later. Put it in the rail. And that right there is the final thing. God, it smells good. Ooh, y'all that right there. Turtle gumbo with a little shrimp. You can do this with chicken. I guess you could do it with pork, chicken, whatever you want to do. We just, you know. We just, I just like the turtle, we like the turtle, so. Mm -hmm. It's smelling right. Sure is. Really, really good. Put that leaf.
you think? I think it's really delicious. It smells delicious. That's it. That's it right there. Perfect. Perfect. What do you try this right now? Northern meat, southern gumbo. Who would have thought, eh? You don't even have a northern gumbo, do you? <laughs> no. Thing left on the fork. <laughs> By the time I get it done. <laughs>